Hello, this is Nasi Usugi. I'm writing mental health. And I wanted to say, you know, thanks for being patient with me. I've been gone for a little bit. I was uh, in the process of, I guess, returning to center. Um, I got a little bit pulled in a bunch of different directions. But now we are definitely on our way back to, I don't know, the world orbiting how it is supposed to. And so I want to talk a little bit today. Last month, um, I had said that I was working on my self-esteem. And so I wanted to share a little bit today um, about mental health and lessons in patience. And I know a lot of times, you know, we get impatient with the world. And I think that a lot of times social media, sometimes, and I'm not knocking social media because it definitely helps to connect people, you know, especially for people who feel like, you know, they're alienated or they don't have a really good support system. Um, and the online community can definitely be something that's very helpful. So I think that's really important to be able to connect to other people. And that's definitely something that I'm learning. But today, and I will be doing a couple of other recordings today, um, and we'll put them out. And I wanted to talk a little bit about lessons in patience and being patient with yourself. And this is something that I have had to come to terms with over, you know, the past week or so. And I want to talk a little bit about that. Because a lot of times, um, we end up beating ourselves up. And especially if, you know, you're someone who struggles with anxiety or depression, um, you know, like I said, you know, I have ADHD and Asperger's and sometimes, you know, I get a little frustrated with things when they don't follow the routine or, you know, something kind of goes off kilter. And I know I had one of those experiences today. Um, I have a kind of a, uh, I don't know, an old car. Um, and it is, I guess, time for me to think about what I want to do with that. And I woke up this morning and I was going to, you know, go do some shopping or some errands. And, you know, I found that my car just was absolutely not working. So that was something that was interesting, um, you know, because it seemed to have been working the day before. And so that was kind of interesting. And so I know sometimes when transportation gets messed up, like if the bus schedule changes or the route, um, or, you know, you're taking kind of one of the car services and it doesn't end up, you know, being the ride that you expected, um, or if you're taking the subway or something like that, or your bike busts a tire, you know, or your moped or scooter, um, those things can definitely throw you off. And I know that I've been dealing with a bunch of things. And so having that on top of it definitely could have been something that was overly frustrating. And I know that a lot of times over the past couple of weeks, I feel like I've been pulled in various directions. And some of that I know um, is, you know, I at least find myself to be very sensitive to energies and I can get, I don't know, thrown off into a frenzy of a feeling. Um, be it positive or negative. And so I want to say something that it is okay to not be okay. You know, a lot of times, you know, we try to put up a front um, and try to show, you know, 
our strength and all that. And sometimes, you know, it's just okay to, you know, be overwhelmed by your feelings or be in a place that's just, you know, not positive where you're beating yourself up or you're stuck in a memory or, you know, you're remembering something that's sad. I know that, you know, Father's Day in, you know, the United States is coming up. And that's definitely something that, you know, bring back memory for me because I guess, you know, I lost my father, you know, a couple of years ago. Um, and that's definitely something that weighs on my heart. And it was something that at the time I couldn't, at the time what was going on with me is that I had a lot of responsibilities and I was kind of in a relationship that was, I don't know, not good. I think I've talked about it before. And at the time I didn't get a chance to really mourn my father and I had to kind of put that on hold. And I think bottling up those feelings for two, three years, you know, actually had a negative impact. And so when that feeling comes back, um, that really begins to, you know, send me down the spiral. And so in times like that, I have learned, and just recently, that I need to be patient with myself, you know. And, and so when I've had a bunch of different things happen over the past, you know, week or so, or two weeks, and uh, I got kind of thrown off. And so it's times like that, you know, I know a lot of times people say, well, you have to be positive and think positive thoughts. And definitely, you definitely need to be positive with other people, you know, and send love to yourself and love to others. That's definitely important. And, you know, do things that uplift your soul and your spirit. You know, and, and try to be happy. But there's some times where it's just way difficult to do that. And I know that, you know, I tend to beat myself up because I know that that's something that's very important. And you have to give yourself time, time to, you know, take a break. And you can't be positive all the time. Okay? And I know and that's something that's really important, especially with kind of the new energy and you know where the world is going you know but you got to give yourself some slack sometimes and be patient and that's one of the things I learned now I know with my car situation today I mean it could have been a huge I mean I could have just kind of gone off and just you know been complaining and whining or whatever but that wouldn't have got the problem solved you know I had to kind of kick in the gear and take action and take responsibility, you know, and, and do what was necessary, do what was needful to get it fixed. And so that's kind of where I am right now. And so I just wanted to say that's a lesson in patience. And so, you know, you need to be kind to yourself and you need to give yourself the space. I mean, you can't always be happy. You can't always be on, you know, but don't let the now really, you know, get to you and throw you off kilter. Try to be good to yourself every time, every day, because that is the key to give yourself the breathing space and the breathing room to allow you to understand and make the moves necessary so that you can look at the problem or the issue from a space where you are calm and you are patient and you can take a step back and not get thrown around by your emotions. It's very important. And that is a lesson that I've had to learn over you know, the past couple of days, especially today, because I wasn't ready for that to happen. Um, 
you know, with my car today. And that was something I had to learn. So, yeah, so I just wanted to say that today. Don't let the now really, you know, send you into a place that is going to hijack your peace and send you into a tornado of emotion. It's okay. Take a time out. Step back. And remember, above else, to love yourself, then love others. Send that love wherever you go. And remember, the universe got you.